Hello everybody, welcome to the internet. I was going to take off and do a quick nice little ride to something and then I realized once again that my tires are low. I say once again because I filled them up like a day or two ago and I would be using a tire pressure gauge but the one I have I guess doesn't work. When I put it on here the stem doesn't change at all so I can't tell the pressures but I know they're low and based on how much we filled them up last time I'm guessing that's enough. And I'm not sure if this guy was here before me when I pulled in, but he waved me on ahead, so thank you. <sighs> All right, let's get the balls out of here. Shoot, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. <sighs> and I got the cop with me? No, I do not. Man, last night I took my Super Duke out and I was thinking about recording a Finally Friday then. I know you, some of you guys really like that bike. Like, I like it, but man, I should have been pulled over like four or five different times. Cops were everywhere, camping everywhere. And I went, I allegedly was speeding by several of them. I mean, I slowed down for all of them, but not like in a suspicious way, but technically I was speeding. I think all the cops knew that I wasn't going that fast to begin with. And that I wasn't like being brazen, just trying to speed past them. I don't know, but I was like, good grief. What crazy weird luck today. Bad luck that I got spotted so many times. Good luck that none of them pulled me over. It was so bizarre. Anyway, I was carrying over some of that suspicion when I just saw that cop behind me. Like, oh great, here he comes again. Okay, it really looks good. The front, oh, those look much better. They feel better too. I hope the pressure in either of them isn't too high, but I don't know, because I'm cheap and I don't want to buy a $2 pressure gauge, tire pressure gauge. The reason I'm going now is because I got this dumb thing. Let's see if I can see it. Ugh. Anyway, you know what that is? Some of you who are cultured and have air fryers know exactly what that is. It's a Dyson vacuum. But what's this? It looks like a burn mark. I don't know if that is what it is. But I do know it ain't working right no more. It makes air noises, but it has no suction. So I'm taking my vacuum not very far. Oh, 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 oh! Apparently this is the wrong way. I thought this was the right way. Let's see what the map says. Let's see this right. Well, then why did it want me to turn? Whatever, this is the right way. I'm going three miles, just three miles, apparently. What are the odds that there's a Dyson Repair Center three miles from me? Just going three miles up, and what are the odds, once again, that this is one of my favorite roads? I don't have many excuses to ride on very much, but like it's the direct road between me and the place, and I like this road. So I'm taking my vacuum to a place because the official diagnosis by me is my vacuum sucks, or it doesn't suck. That's the problem. It's like when Invader Sim saying, I put the fires out, the tallest, you made them worse. And he goes, worse or better? So I guess I lied last week when I said I was gonna have my Jeep back probably soon. Nope, now I know it's gonna be at least another month <laughs> because while I got a custom transmission made and done, the clutch wasn't quite up to spec in that it exploded. Kind of. It can't handle the power of the engine. So now I'm waiting for a custom clutch to be made. So, yeah. And I think I said this last week too. I said, well, I know that I'm going to sell the car soon. And now I know more specifically, I have a little deadline for myself. By the end of this month, I'm getting rid of it. And I doubt I'll have the Jeep back by then. So there's a very good possibility that I'll be without any cars and I'll just have my two motorcycles. But you know what? Hey, that is not so bad, especially since I love my bikes and the weather is good. I've been stuck with one bike in the winter. So two bikes in the summer is pff, fine. Coming up here is where the cop was. What a, what a, man, what's with all this luck and coincidence? This is the same turn I took yesterday. Anyway, I guess it's across the street. Maybe that's why I wanted me to go across. Whatever, I wanted to take this road. I'll slow down in case the cop's there. I, that'd be really weird if he was there last night and this morning. Yeah, he's not there. He was backed up, hiding in between those railroad ties. I was like, ah, sneaky. I'm assuming I'm just gonna drop the vacuum off, but maybe they'll be, maybe they'll be awesome. Like, oh man, ain't no thing, Scrooge. We'll plug that thing right in, and it's gonna suck so bad. Watch this. Oh no, I'm in the wrong lane. Freaking heck! Now I gotta be an asshole. I'm gonna be an asshole really quick. Sorry. All right. Man, the wind. So. I, I kind of have to take the vacuum this morning because uh, freaking well it's not that I have to I decided now would be the best time to do it because it wouldn't be a hundred degrees like it's been because it's the morning and frack freaking wind wind is welcome though because like I said it's been a hundred degrees so now it's only 85 and I'm just wearing shorts so I guess it's fine but Dyson 
I think they'll get mad if I park up on the curb. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I love this bike. Oh, is that how it was broken right there? Wow, I, I fixed it. Wow. I'm glad I drove out here to fix it myself. I didn't know that was a compartment. Wow, that could be fixed in like a moment. I could have fixed it. I didn't know that was there, but that explains a lot. Hello. I was going to drop this off to get uh, fixed, but I think that's it right there. Um, do you have tweezers by chance? Yeah, thank you. Sorry? Almost 10 years. How about you? Do you ride? No, I've been meaning to get my license. I love bikes. I didn't see a closer to that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm going to assume that that fixed it because, I mean, shoot. That it's not going to wait the right company also to help you with the training process. Well, I would recommend, have you heard of JUCO? J-C-C-C? -C -C? Community College. It's like a mile or two away. They have an MSF course. And there's a fee where it takes a week or two of they provide you a motorcycle, they teach you how to ride it on a closed course, and when you finish, you get your license. So it's an all-in-one package, yeah. I didn't do it. I just learned on my own and then took the test, And but that's what I recommend to most people because if I was doing it again, that's what I would do. Right. So anyway, um, do I owe you anything for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> <If I don't. laughs> Thank you, guys. You too. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for the help. You know what? As these guys are in the vacuum business, I could very comfortably say that those guys suck. <laughs> Obviously, they're very nice. It's a joke. But I'm going to clarify that in case people want to use that out of context or something. <laughs> All right, let's get the balls out of here. <laughs> that was dumb. Freaking so obvious what was wrong with it uh see i i meant to i forgot about this before i took off the motorcycle yesterday i thought i should look at the vacuum one more time see if i can figure it out and i forgot maybe if i had done that well that's okay i do not regret coming out here anyway for a couple reasons one i like riding and two i'm glad i got to meet them so it's a win-win kind of mostly this bike is so awesome it's 10 o'clock, oh my goodness, I need to get home so I can make a smoothie. Yes, apparently I made the right call. Not recording a video last night. Sorry again for those of you who would like to see the bike, it's freaking fantastic. But that, uh, usually, when I ride, usually, it's just for me. I just go out because it's time for me to clear my head and just relax. And I'm sure that's why a lot of you guys go riding, but lately it's... I think I've more or less, more or less, been saving writing exclusively for that purpose, is to relax. It's like, you know, throttle therapy. Man, the wind! Okay, part of it's because I'm sitting upright because I can't scoop my butt back because there's a vacuum in the way, and I'm just taking it all on with my testicles, but, man, it's, yeah, it's pretty windy. You can see the tree blowing right back the way I'm coming from. That's okay, the wind is nice. It's killing my battery, but that's okay because the wind's nice. Dude, I can't wait for fall. I can't wait to, like, when fall comes around, I think I'm gonna be taking my Duke out and riding midday. I don't know. It's just been so freaking hot, I've been discouraged. But I go out once in a while. Anyway, not important. Um, I don't think I have anything to tell you that I haven't told you already. And look, we've come full circle. This is where I wanted me to be before. So this is a good place to stop. Hey, thank you suckers for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.